Right, so I just got back from downtown. I got some uh, longer bolts. We're going to use these as a guide. Now I know that these, this fits in the housing, so that can use as a guide. But you just don't know the orientation. So what I've done is this. Um, marked on here is top. So what I've done is I've turned the direction so the parallels of the drive are pointing to the top and also the parallels of the drive here are pointing to the top so we might just have a little bit of wriggle room I don't know so we're just going to pop these longer bolts in these are M5 oh wait a minute I've got to put some oil on this because these are a bugger to fit usually let's get some nice a bit a lot of oil on there that's good yeah, let's get some in there as well The O-rings are particularly nasty uh, on these, I know that for sure. There we are. So what we're going to do is just sort of gently force this down and it went in quite nice. Now we've got a, a decent sized socket How easy was that? Yeah. It's what you want isn't it? A bit of easiness in your life all for, the, all for the sake of three bolts. I'm going to put the bolts back in here and tighten them down. Tighten these other caps down. Then we're going to put this back on the bench. We're going to put a bit of oil on it and spin it around. Right, put some oil in it. See it pumping out? That is good. Next thing we're going to get... Is our transfer and we're going to put the o-rings in. First of all somebody outside, I'm going to go and see them. Sorry about that, I thought it was somebody owed me some money. <laughs> so we're going to work out which way it goes on, like that. We're going to put the o-rings in, new o-rings. Now pay attention men, uh, you've probably noticed wherever there's an o-ring it's square cut, it's never round. Have you ever noticed that on shafts where you put o-rings on? And the reason for that is that the o-ring will take the shape of the square once it's compressed. It's kind of clever really. But the thing is, if it was a round, you know, cut down there, you'd never compress them. <laughs> they wouldn't compress. Uh, I'm going to put this in because my battery's going flat. Uh, there's all sorts going on today. Put this on and then we'll turn it around a bit more. I'm going to fit this collar onto here. So, a little bit of oil, a little bit of oil on there. We know that the oil is going around the gearbox, so that's good. We need our adapter. Goes into there. I know people have said in the comments that you don't need all these tools, but believe me, it makes life easier. And never hit this collar on. Force it on, screw it, you know, force it on. Because you hit this, you'll hit the bearings. You'll knock shock all the way through the uh, the, uh, the uh, tube. It's not good. Mm -hmm. Is that right? You can make sure it's on a full thread. That's it. And now we, try, we do the woeful task of trying to get this on. It's not easy. Some are and some aren't. I don't know why. We use the uh, Land Rover jack handle, handle out of a Disco 1 or a Disco 2. And we slowly turn that on. Oh, that's not too bad. You can't just use this handle on its own. It's not long enough. And I know I'm supposed to get a 15, 16 spanner on here, but we got one. I'll keep doing that. So there's the collar on, that's how it should look. Tighten it right down as far as it'll go. 
That's that bit done. Not too low. Next, almost last now. I'll turn the ultrasonic off because we don't need that anymore. Take that out. Now we can put that little fastening in there along with the pipe. What we're going to do with the pipe here is blow it through to make sure it's not blocked up. That is not blocked up. Now, that goes onto there. Now, are we out of shit? I'll have to go and get some new copper washers. They don't come with a kit. They come with my kit, but they don't come with the uh, Ashcroft kit. I'm in trouble with my camera. It keeps dropping down. Well, there's me rambling on and talking to myself. Uh, the gearbox is 14, and that's the same size as the box. I'm in a bit of a dilemma as to what to do. I think what I'll do is I'll take this housing off completely. Um, put the cardboard across which means draining the oil out unfortunately and um, we'll take it from there. I've put this back on I put two new copper washers in there Probably, I, I was talking to myself I had the bloody camera switched off I've wound that down to where I think it was going to be and just tighten that lock nut up that probably will need adjusting once it's uh, back in its place uh, yeah no it, it, it shifts alright I mean I'm, I'm not. I'm not used to these speedy shifts. If you see what I mean, I'm not used to um, sport shift because they were never a car designed for sports anyway. <coughs> um, yeah. What else is there to do? I've done that. I've done that. I've done that. That's tight. That's tight. Everything's back on. Uh, the only thing I've got to do is check the reverse light and I'll do that now. So I've put the gearbox into reverse I'm going to check the terminals mm -hmm. nothing there See if I can find a plug to go into that. Well, I've had problems with this uh, switch. I just put an extension on, clamped it in the vise, and there's nothing. Just on. Oh, damn it all. Let's unplug this and start this again. We'll plug this in and see if there's any direct contact to here. Well, it's a bit of a perturbment because it looks as if it's going in. No, switch is dead. Good job of check then. But I haven't got one. Bet I have got one. Let's test it before we put it in. Oh, where put the plug on? Where's the plug gone? Yeah. Oh, not that one. That's where I've just taken the Mop it. It's getting too near dinner time now. It's been a long day today already. Oh, somebody's upstairs using my bathroom. That works. Let's put the copper washer on. Screw the switch in. These are so much easier to do now than to do them on the car. You know, you've got to check everything, eh? That's the problem with these cards. You've got to just check it, double check it, triple check it before it goes back together again. Spend all after I'm tidying up. Oh no, I've got a bloody tractor to look at, haven't I? Job done. 
So what I'm going to do is knock that out of uh, reverse. Some out. Um, there we go. Put it into neutral. Tip it over and drain the oil out. Oh look, this camera keeps just moving all over the place today. I don't know what's wrong with it. It must be the cold. Right, so that's that. Um, I'm kind of happy with that. I'm not sure about that sticky shift thing, but um, it should be alright. It looks really nice and clean inside. It looks, uh, looks nice. It looks a lot better than it did. Um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just tip it on the bench, drain the oil out, and uh, that's it. So I hope you like that. If you've got any questions, just ask. I, I always, whenever I do gearboxes and things like that, I always think of new things. You know, uh, like that holding the holding the synchros together. You know, holding the selector shaft and the gears together with a circlet uh, with a big uh, pipe clip. That was a good idea because I'd struggled on with that for ages. And um, doing the oil pump on here with three guide screws. That was. That was a joy because usually putting the covers on you're just messing about doing it this. So I think that was good. That's good. Any questions? Like I said, just ask. See ya.